this is Jessie James and I have been asked a dozen times to do a video on how I do my makeup so I decided today is a good day to do that um, I've already got it done here but I'm gonna show you exactly how I did it so you're gonna see me without makeup ah! and uh, you'll see how I get it all done how I do it I can do my makeup in like 20 minutes and once you get used to it and you get comfortable with it I think it's very easy it really will so it looks like I've got a lot going on here but you know what I probably have used a total of like eight to ten things on my face so far so hopefully you like it here we go um, I do have eyelashes on because I get eyelash extensions once in a while um, and so it actually makes it so much easier in the process a lot faster um, when I do my makeup so you can take a little good look at them they're pretty long I love them, um, so you don't have to put that much mascara, but if I didn't have these, I would put a strip over um, just to make your eyes pop, because I just think eyelashes are the key to, and eyebrows are the key to making um, your face look gorgeous. So, what we're going to start with um, is uh, moisturizer, obviously. Um, I think any moisturizer is good. I like the Laura Mercier. I don't know if I even say it right. I really like um, this stuff, if you can see it. The um, Tinted Moisturizer. It's probably my favorite. So I've already put some of that on today. Um, but we'll, I'll apply a little bit more, just because I'm starting fresh. So I'll put a little bit of this on. Makes the face glow, makes everything look all nice. Good on my lip. And I have one, like a big, um, mirror behind it from Brookstone so it's kind of making everything pretty light um, next what I'll do is um, I like makeup forever under eye concealer because it covers up everything and one of my issues I think it's genetic is I just get dark circles under my eyes a lot um, so I use the number seven um, since I'm more olive complected even though I don't look like that right now this light is making me look so pale if I back up you can see not that not that pale but I guess I am right now so I like to put a little on my hand. And it's always good to use a brush when applying concealer. So I'll look in the mirror when I do this. And just put it underneath the eye. All the stuff you just don't want people to see. Okay. La, da, da, da. And then if you have any pimples or anything, which I have a little one on my nose right now because I think Aunt Rose is coming soon. Okay, and I think that's it for that. Also, um, if you like your face to look a, maybe a little bit darker than it, it na naturally is, which I do, because I'm a tanaholic, so, or tanorexic, I think is the word. Um, so this is a little bit darker than what I probably should be using, but um, it's also a tinted moisturizer. I think it's a little heavy for a tinted moisturizer. It's not very light. So I'll, I put a little bit of that mixed with my favorite, favorite ever um, liquid foundation, which is um, Makeup Forever. I heard a rumor that they used to, uh, they use it on male soap operas, stars, because um, it's so natural looking so you can't tell that they're wearing makeup. So, um, and I don't like, um, like my concealer and I don't like my foundation to look too dark because I, I like to pile a lot of bronzer on later on so this gives me a good fresh little start so I'll mix that a little bit with the darker stuff so I'll mix that all on there and I'll add some of that on my face cover up the stuff we don't like or just to make it all look even I have a really thin skin on my face so sometimes you can see you know, some of the veins and, you know, some of the stuff above my eyes, which I'm not crazy about, but it could be worse, right? So cover all that good stuff up. Okay. And that looks pretty good. All right. Next, I like to go for the eyebrows. Eyebrows are so important. Mine are already pretty thick, I will say. Um, they're very thick actually, so sometimes I have to be a little careful because sometimes I'll go a little crazy and make them even thicker. I just love thick eyebrows. They totally frame your entire face. Please do not over tweeze your eyebrows. So many girls do that and it just doesn't look good. Don't do it anymore. It doesn't look cute. I see girls at the mall or they over tweeze here and they got these two little lines. They look like little caterpillars and I just like, it's not cute. 
It does not look good. It doesn't look classy at all. It looks trashy, so don't do it. Thicken them brows up. Look at Brooke Shields. Look at Megan Fox. Kim Kardashian even has thick brows, and I just think they look beautiful. So thicken them up a little bit. You don't want to look like a dude, but still, you know what I'm saying. So I thickened them up a little bit, gave them a little bit of shape. Now I'm really fast with it, take your time, but I've just been doing this forever. Um, I'm pretty controlling when it comes to my makeup. Even sometimes it shoots, like after they've done my makeup, I'll go to the bathroom and redo it just sometimes, just because I just, whatever, it makes me crazy. Next thing I'll do is I'll add a little bit of a um, matte sort of uh, powder. Now this is a bronzer, it's uh, by California Tan. Um, I got it from a, a tanning salon actually in LA. My girlfriend, um, who's also my stylist, Jessica, she had it in her makeup bag because I forgot my makeup bag. It was like lo lost on in luggage or whatever at the airport. And so I had to use her makeup and I fell in love with it. So I went and got it. You can get it offline as well. Because some of my girlfriends have now fallen in love with it too and they all ordered it offline. So I like to take a brush and put it all over. And it doesn't have much glitter or shimmer to it, so you can put a lot on without it looking, you know, really fake or you gotta pull it all on your neck too so it matches. Okay. Alright, voila. Now that's on. If you can see, everything's looking smooth, everyone's looking natural. Okay. Next, what we will put on, let's see what I do. Sometimes I like to jump to the lips because then I'll start feeling a little insecure because I'm like, oh my god. My, my lips look small because I already put a bunch of foundation all over my face. So, a lot of people don't like the way I do my lips, but I don't care. I don't have, you know, massive lips. My lips are a little above medium sized, um, but I like to make them look even bigger without, because I don't want to, you know, get lip injections or anything that looks not cute. So, I like to overline them just a little bit. So, I'll show you how to do that. Now, this is um, more of a nude sort of color. It's by, it's YSL. And uh, you can get sort of the same thing at Target. I mean, you don't have to spend a lot of money, you know. This is number 13. Do my lips. Now, I usually don't underline or overline the bottom because my bottom, my bottom lip's already pretty big. So I'll do that. And then we'll get to the top. Now, I don't go crazy, but I definitely go a little bit higher than what my lip is seeing. Just a little bit. I just think it looks prettier. Okay. Now I look at um, a lot of old Cindy Crawford pictures, the way she did her head. She had this big brown golden honey hair and she would do her, her makeup very similar to the way I do it because I've looked at a lot of pictures of her and I just love the way she did it. It just looked so sexy. It was very sex kitten. If you look at a lot of the 90s, um, pictures of her, just gorgeous. Um, and then I add, I like to add a little bit of a, oh, here it is, a pink lip. I forgot where I got this from. My face. Oh, this is NARS. Now this is really, really, really pink. And if you can see it, clearly I need to get my nails done too. Um, but I, I like to add a little pink, you know, in the middle. If you use a nude liner, like that. That looks good, huh? I like that. And then I'll add gloss later because then the eyeshadow will fall and get stuck in your lipstick and that'll look weird. Um, I'm gonna go over this a little bit because the lipstick got in there. Okay. Ooh, la la. All right, so next, um, let's get to the eyes. Now the eyes are probably the most important part of um, your face too. I know I said lashes and brows, but that's in the eye area. So. We're gonna get to that. You're gonna need good liquid liner. You're gonna need a good pencil. Already, again, I have another YSL pencil. It just stays on, but any pencil will do. Um, let's see, oh, I didn't do the eyebrow gel. We'll do that in a second. Let's see what else we got. So we got good mascara. Oh, uh, this is good mascara. This is a MAC mascara, I like. Again, any old mascara will do. You don't have to buy the expensive stuff. It's just sometimes it's better quality. It stays on longer. It lasts longer. You know. And if you think about it, all the money you spend on um, mediocre makeup, you really could be buying the good stuff and it'll probably last longer. Okay. 
So let's go ahead and start with eyeshadow. Uh, where did my stuff go? Here it is. I like to use, um, what is this? This is Benefit. I love Benefit. Let's see. And this is, um, this is a good eyeshadow of theirs. It's broken, clearly, because I'm a mess. I just throw all my stuff in bags when I travel, but whatever, it works still. So what I'll do is I'll add a little bit of a gold to the lid at first. So just put it over the lid like that very nicely. And then lightly just put it all over um, under your brows and everything. Here's another one. I, had, I like to add a little bit of, oh, this is so messed up, that and that's a little bit lighter. So I'll do that. Okay, that's pretty good. Now what I'm doing is, I'm not gonna go crazy with a lot of the makeup, but I do, um, I mean, I'll put my makeup on if I go out for the day, so this is, I'll kind of give you an idea of just what my everyday face looks like after I've put a lot of makeup on it. A lot of the times I won't even wear makeup. If I'm hanging around at the house or I'm just running a little bit of errands, um, you know, I, I feel pretty good and just, no makeup at all, and Eric likes me without makeup way more, but whatever, this comes with it. I'm a girl, right? Girls like this. Okay, so what I'm also doing, I know I'm just talking and I'm not explaining to you what I'm doing here. I'm gonna drop that. Um, is now I'll use kind of a dark brown and I'll mix it with like a navy, which is again in here. I hate that that's broken. I think that's bad luck for sure. I don't know. So I'll put a little bit of that in the crease. Um, now what I do is sex kitten eyes. I do sex kitten makeup all together. I just think ma makeup is so sexy. You can throw in a t-shirt, pair of cutoffs, and Uggs like I will. And just do your makeup all nice and your face will be your accessory for the day. So if you, as you see I'm doing, I'm putting it right in the crease and extend it just a little bit out there. You see that? Mm-hmm. And I'll do a little bit more of that navy. To give it a little bit of a more dramatic look. Okay. Ooh, sexual. Okay, that looks lovely. Then, what I will do is we will go over it with a pencil. Let's start with the eyeliner. Okay, here we go. I'm gonna close the eye. Now, people get really stressed out. People get really stressed out whenever they are about to do their eyeliner. One of my good friends would be like, I get anxiety you know, when I'm about to put my eyeliner on because it would stress her out because she didn't know how to do it. But it's really not too difficult. You just have to find the line that is perfect for your eye shape. I have kind of almond shaped eyes. So, and they're a little bit closer together. I'm Italian, I'm my Italian nose. So it's always good to, for me, to do more of a cat eye. So that's where I start kind of at the end here and I work my way all the way out. See that? And oh, let me see. And then I'll kind of extend it all the way to the inner part of the eye. Now this may not necessarily work. I think it works on everybody. My sister has completely different shaped eyes and we'll, stu we'll still do cat eyes on her um, and it still looks great. She just can't, she can't do too much um, under the eye because then it looks like um, a mess. We tell her all the time, Sydney, quit putting crap under your eyes. It don't look good. Okay, well, we're gonna do the other eye. Ah, sometimes these eyelash extensions get stuck in my eyeballs. All right. Mm -hmm. Now, again, it can be any eyeliner you want, but I prefer the YSL black liner. Works pretty good for me. Because it just stays on longer, you know? Okay, so we got the liner on. Now, what this kind of is to me is I'm just kind of shaping what I want the liquid to do. I do not like putting liquid liner on first. It just, it never goes on right. It always turns out to be a mess. It just makes me crazy. I love kind of setting it first with a pencil. And then we're going to go over it with the, um, with the liquid. I like to use um, Kat Von D's liquid liner, and again, you can get all this stuff at Sephora, um, but I like her stuff. It goes on pretty good. So we're going to go over that, the liquid, 
and just makes it look so sexy. You see that? Ooh, girls. Once y'all do, y'all gonna look so good. Okay. You see the difference? It's just a lot darker. Okay, now I'm gonna do the other one. Mm-hmm. Okay. You see that? Let me extend a little bit more. I think it's not as extended as the other. Maybe it is, whatever. Okay, now on to, ow, on to the bottom of your eyes. I like to use, and I always kind of do um, every day, sometimes I'll do a little bit of a smoky eye and I'll take an eye, uh, eye shadow brush and I'll just kind of shadow in a little bit of like a charcoal or a little bit of like a dark gold. But most of the time, I like to use purple. Because I have brown eyes, purple really makes your brown eyes pop. So I'm gonna take purple eyeliner. This is Laura Mercier, I got it in a gift bag the other day, so I'm gonna just use it. You just put, I like to put it a little bit on the corners of the eyes. Don't ever take your eyeliner and put it all the way in. It just, for me, it doesn't look good. It makes my eyes look smaller and it closes them off. I feel like this just made, look, look at the difference. I just feel like it made it pop even more, right? Um, if you're a blonde and you have blue eyes, this probably isn't the best idea to use purple. Um, browns look good. I also think um, greens look really amazing too with blue eyes. Oh, it looks stunning. For some reason, I, I mean, on my girlfriend's purple just oh, it doesn't usually always look good if you got the blue eyes. Or just use black underneath your eyes. Okay. Now we're, I'm gonna go in and I'm gonna put mascara on the bottom. It's, it's usually not a good idea to put mascara on your eyelash extensions, just because it clumps them up. Sometimes I break the rules and I'll do it, or a video shoot, we just will pile it on. Um, so I'm gonna put a little bit of that. Okay. But I don't think I'm gonna put it on the top right now. Sometimes I like to put eyelash extensions, or not extensions, but eyelash, um, glue them on the bottom. Sometimes you can find them at Sally's or you can kind of cut up ones that go on your top and, and glue them individually with just temporary glue, not permanent. I don't really like the permanent glue for your bottoms. It just rips them out anyway. See that? So just put it all on the bottom. Okay. Maybe I'll just put one little layer on top. So I'll just one little layer. This mascara is actually pretty good. I usually don't love to shop at MAC just because they're so expensive, but their stuff is so good. It really is. I can spend hours in Sephora too. Good lord. Okay, so the eyes are pretty much done. If you want a more of a natural look, I'm going to put some eyebrow gel though just to keep my eyebrows in place. Since they're so long and thick, you got to just you gotta tame them a little bit because they can get a little crazy. Okay. All right. And we'll do it on the other side. Okay, cool. So now I'm going to put some, um, a little bit of a darker bronze, bronzer on my cheeks. This was again California tan. We can look it up. Um, California, I think it's called California Sun. I broke the top, so I can't remember. What is this? Oh yeah, California Tan, that's what it's called. So I really recommend that stuff, it's awesome. Now I'm gonna put um, a little bit of stuff on my cheeks. I'm gonna put a little bit of Lorac, and I'm also gonna put, um, what is this stuff? Ah, I forget what this is for sure, but I got it from Sephora, okay? I remember. So I'll put a little bit of a darker bronzer. Just put her, you, you, it's good to just kind of, this area of the face, whatever that means. Just start here, cheekbones, and then around the cheek. Got it? Do the other side. And then, if you have a little bit of a nose with character, sometimes I like to contour a little bit and put a little bit of bronzer on the side. Be proud of your heritage. I think people can be so rude, but you know what? I wouldn't change it for the world. 
Gives me character, right? Same thing for you girls. Don't ever think about plastic surgery for your face. God gave you that face. He gave it to you for a reason. I just think it gives you character, right? So now I'm gonna put a little bit of like a peach pink on my cheeks to give it a little bit of a rosy look. This light, I feel like, is making it really difficult to see some of the colors. Does that help? I can see a little bit, maybe. I don't know. Okay. So I'm going to put a little bit on my cheeks. A little bit of nose. Give a little bit of a snowstormy look. So now I think my makeup is pretty much done for the most part. I'm going to take this thing off. And then just roll your hair all big and nice and tease it and spray. And then you're good to go. So I hope this helped y'all. Um, if you have any more questions, Twitter me. And I will try to help all that I can. But remember, you are beautiful. You are sexy. And you don't need makeup for that. But it is sometimes fun to play a little bit. Alright. Good seeing y'all. Bye.